All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and take a look at an interesting indie game that I found online recently. And for today's episode, we'll be having a Gander and Tin Man Takedown by Lab231. And well, this game looks quite amusing. It is a sci-fi first-person shooter. And it is very much in a sort of alpha demo state, so yeah, definitely a few things won't be too polished up. And right now it's quite short, I, I believe only about three levels. And uh, well, all that can be forgiven because it is an alpha, and this particular alpha was worked on by some students over the course of 22 weeks of classes, and they're now wanting to continue development on this through the IGDA of Sacramento, which is the uh, Sacramento branch of the International Game Developers Association. And, well, so far from what I've seen of pictures, I, I, I look forward to what they do with it. And also, from the sound of things, I'm going to shut up real quick and just... It, 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 they've got a theme tune that you can kind of hear in the background. I've got it low at the moment, so, yeah, you know, you can actually hear me speaking. But uh, they actually had a custom Tin Man Takedown song made, and uh, yeah, let's, let's just have a little listen. Ah, yes, I, I, I can't tell you how much that makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know why, but this song is extraordinarily catchy. I've actually been sitting here for about five minutes before I even hit the record button just listening to this song. It's really good. And it just looped. There we go. So <laughs> uh, it's quite cool. I can't hear, I, or I can't wait to hear what the uh, in-game sounds are like if they went to all the trouble of getting a sort of custom Tin Man takedown song put together for the menu screen. But now that we are on the menu screen and talking about it, the first thing I always like to look at is, of course, options. And, well, th this this is all we have at the moment. <laughs> Again, alpha, so it can, it can be forgiven. It is a game made in Unity, and so you do still get that standard Unity launcher where you pick your resolution and your generic quality. So all we have in here is sound effects and music, and if you uh, click one, they both go. So you can't uh, turn off sound effects or turn off music and just have one or the other. You get both, and apparently what has been seen cannot be unseen as their little tip here, which I don't think is too fitting considering your options menu only has sound. So, hmm, perhaps the first thing you guys work on when you go over to the IGDA in Sacramento. Good graphic options. Ah, uh, at least, at least like a uh, mouse sensitivity slider. I, I would be happy because so many of these indie games, they're just way too sensitive. Uh, but yes, yeah, since uh, that is really it for the options, let's just jump right in and start a game. And oh, the theme tune's gone. And oh my. Oh, my mouse cursor is on the screen normally. That goes away. I wonder if. Uh, Oh, two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do. That is true, and my word, the sensitivity, like I was just saying, is off the charts. So give me a moment while I switch my mouse DPI settings. Okay, that's as low as they go. And, uh, yeah, it's still... It is still interesting. But, uh... Hmm. Should work, should work, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so far... At least from the art style, looks quite nice in here. I am enjoying the modeling and texturing, a little bit of a cartoony, cell-shaded vibe to it. And, well, that's cool. I'm wondering why we started on the table. And also, dear God, we can jump high and also glitch into the ceiling a bit. That's kind of amusing. Wow, we even hit the ceiling when we jump from the floor. This, per this whoever this character is, can really jump. But okay, do we have any other weapons besides this uh, gun here? It does not appear so. We don't seem to have any iron sights, which I'm disappointed by. And, uh, hmm. We can jump, though, and that makes me happy. We cannot seem to... Oh, nope, there's crouch. All right, so just got to hit that for crouch. Another thing I would like for options, 
Key bindings. Oh, God, I'm stuck in a chair. Oh, jump. Jump out of the chair. Thank God we can jump higher than any NBA star ever could. But, all right. What is the sound that, uh... Whoa. No collider on the fridge door. Huh. Interesting. And some very square-looking bottles of ketchup and mustard. All right, well, moving forward. Jump over the chairs. Can we actually pick up this health pack? Do anything with it? No. I also did just notice we actually have a radar down in the corner. That should be helpful. It actually has a little range finder on it. That should be good. Okay, I'm not seeing any enemies on the radar so far. Ah, and I am liking the art style and... Whoa, hello! Are you an enemy? Are, are you? Oh, you are! Oh, you are the cutest little enemy ever. I kind of feel bad about shooting you. <laughs> okay, well, it's dead now. Yeah, very well done on the modeling and texturing. I like the sort of old-timey please stand by. Always good. Is that an explosive barrel? Oh, it is! It's on fire! Back away! There we go. Little bit jumpy on the performance. I'm kind of losing some frames, which is intriguing. But, uh, not too bad. I think the part that annoys me the most is it does not hide my mouse cursor. Ah, uh, if I would have known that, I would have changed my, uh, video recording setting so that it didn't show the mouse cursor it when we were, uh, when I am recording. But alright. Oh well, we'll have to make do. Hello, robots! Let's, oh, it's the cute little one. You die. There we go. Okay. You guys are interesting looking. Kind of like the look of you. Let's get close. Can we actually get hurt? I don't seem to have any health. Can you shoot me? They can shoot me, but I do not seem to actually be taking damage. Again, though, pre-alpha stage. Probably just testing. Oh! Okay, there we are. Just reload the ammo there. And that is a much larger robot in the back. Who is coming right at me? Though, again, do I take damage? I don't! Okay, okay. Fair enough. So we won't be able to actually die now, but, uh... Oh, there goes that guy. Can I actually... Oh my god, I probably could make it up to those... Ra oh, nope, nope, nope. We do actually seem to have a height limit on our jumping, and then we sort of get bungeed back down to the ground. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Yeah, I liked the enemy designs that we were just shooting back there. They were quite good. I'm also noticing we seem to have a dirty screen. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't notice that before. Was that there? I'm curious if that's how we're supposed to tell our health and if I actually was taking damage there. Like, potentially, the dirtier the screen gets, the uh, more in trouble I am. These robots are uh, just sitting here on this assembly line. All right, we'll take a jump. Yeah, the bunging down back to the floor at the top of the jump is a little strange. All right, we'll head into the warehouse and see what it has to offer. Hello? Oh, skeleton in the corner. Ha. Huh. All right. Interesting. I'm definitely liking the design of the game so far. The oh, we have some... Uh, <laughs> these seem to be a little bit spaced off. From one another, we got a little odd line where the models didn't quite join up. But all right, and uh, that's a face. Okay. And into the warehouse. Hello? Oh, my jumping isn't as high anymore. Huh. We still get bungee down, but the jumping is lower. All right, you. Let's shoot. There we go. I really wish I had some form of iron sights. <laughs> Shooting them that are farther away is a little interesting. Take this! Oh, that guy kind of slides around. Interesting. Oh, there's the cute little one. There we are. Destroy him. Oh, got to reload again. There we are. One issue with that I have with the weapon, it doesn't really seem to have any oomph to it. And a sign of a lot of good shooters is the weapon design you actually feel. Like you're shooting that weapon. Not not really, of course, but, you know, it's close enough. It feels interesting. This just kind of feels floaty. Like it's barely doing anything. And, hey, at least I can jump up here. Oh, but so can he. He can climb. Hello. There we are. He's dead. And apparently I have a break room. A reactor room. And warehouse number two. 
Let's go to the break room. I'm impressed by the size of the levels so far. Usually a lot of these, uh, oh. Oh, it's a carbon copy of the other place we were in. Interesting. So they have modular break rooms that are all of the same design. Okay, okay. Yeah, so far I'm liking the size of the levels, though. Oh, we cannot go into the reactor room. It would appear. Oh, well, let's head over to Warehouse 2. Typically in a lot of indie shooters you find, they tend to be quite, quite small levels. So I am uh, I, I'm impressed so far with the look and feel of this one. It actually feels open. Uh, and uh, I guess we can't go into Warehouse Number 2 either. Interesting. Oh, hey, we can sprint. I haven't actually tried that yet. All right, that's good. Oh. 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 I think I may be stuck. <laughs> Unless there's something I'm supposed to do in here. Uh, perhaps a lever or a uh, switch. Interesting. See, it makes the sound. What are you? Can I grab you? Oh, my God. I actually have other weapons. What the? Ha! <laughs> Apparently, Q gives you other weapons. All right. Well, can I pick up that? I want to pick up that. It looks cool. Uh, unless that's what I did when I just hit Q. I don't know. Well, we're going to use this gun now. Okay. So, looking around for anything obvious that... Uh, would help us out. Yeah, same with this gun. Just doesn't have any oomph. It, it doesn't feel like there's any kick to it. And yeah, I think I'm stuck in this room now. <laughs> okay, once again, folks, Alpha State. But let's let's restart. Oh my God, the mouse is so slow on the menus now. Okay, we're back in the break room, and we do in fact have this pistol. So I'm gonna use it because I am intrigued by it. And, uh, my mouse annoying the crap out of me still. Where's you? Where are you, you little bugger? Come yeah, on. And... Bam! Oh, no, that didn't hit him. There we go. Yeah, the, the guns just aren't very satisfying to use. They, it doesn't feel like there's anything behind them. I do like the design of them, though, so with a little bit more work, put a little oomph behind them, and I think it would be quite interesting. Oh, let's... Oh, and actually, yeah, I was wondering earlier about the screen being all dirty. And yeah, the screen is uh, seems to be completely clean now. And this gun does not seem to do much to these guys whatsoever. <laughs> As, of course, if I'm actually hitting them. Back to the machine gun. There we go. Just take you down. Take you all down, too. There we go. Oh, reloading would be useful. Duck! Ha-ha! Take you down, Mr. Technically, maybe a mini-boss, though just still dies quite quick. All right, well, instead of going that way and getting stuck in the warehouse, let's head to the locker room. All right, the door worked. And it's a small area. All right, okay, okay, good to know, good to know. Splody soda. Let it explode in the back of your throat. Oh, that's just... That's wrong. <laughs> it's also amusing. Okay, are you a health station? Uh, maybe. But, uh, oh, ammo too? Can Did I refill my ammo? Hold on, I gotta test this. Let's just shoot a few rounds. Reload. And... Oh, yeah, nice, okay. So, I can refill ammo here. Refill health, I'm guessing, as well. That's good. And we're stuck in here again. Okay, so there are some door issues, it would appear. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's restart once again. Getting to know that. Oh, hello, hello! It's put me in the other room. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in the warehouse area rather than the other break room. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I am actually perfectly okay with this. Let's uh, see if maybe we can get through to this reactor room now. We can! Huzzah! There we are. We are through. Yeah, it definitely seems to be some sort of minor issue with the door, and that robot is driving a loader. Interesting. Hello? Do oh, <laughs> he's kind of leaning back, too. I like him. I like him. He's all right. Okay. 
Let's see, what... Do, do I need to kill you? Do I have to kill you? Can I just run alongside you? Uh, uh, okay. I'm kind of curious now. Let's explode that barrel. And that didn't work well. Let's get that one on fire. And too soon. Okay, I, I sincerely doubt I'm going to actually be able to get him with the barrel, so let's just shoot him in the face. Or, hey. Or we may not be able to kill him. Yeah, I think he is uh, indestructible. Fair enough. Uh, to the assembly room. <laughs> oh, this door worked. Excellent. That is good. Definitely do seem to be some issues with the doors at the moment. Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this where we were earlier? <laughs> or is this another room? <laughs> Oh, hello. Just shoot you. you. You don't seem to be dying. Interesting. Oh, dear God. This one's immortal. Ah! Run away! <laughs> you can just keep going. Oh, we, we, we have made a circle. We've gone back this way. You, why won't you? Oh, there you go. Now you died. All right. And the doors are stuck again. <laughs> so, yes, definitely. So, oh, definitely. Uh, what? What? Do not stand uh, there. You will find whatever in there. Interesting. Okay, so the place is a little bit of a maze, and it seems like you can go back on yourself. But, uh... Yeah, back to this break room. Oh, okay, alright. Fair enough. And my screen is dirty now. Ooh, let's go to this health pack, see if we can actually use it. And nope, that does not seem to heal us if that was in fact even what that does anyways. Uh, but yes, I actually think I'm going to uh, end the video here because, well, it's definitely fun. I can see the potential in this game. And I definitely am enjoying myself even though it is slightly frustrating having to restart so doors work again. Uh, but I, I can definitely see where this game could go and get, give it a little bit more polish, a little bit more time to fix some of these glitches. Also, the rubber banding back to the ground, this just feels weird when I jump it. It, it really, really does. And, you know, give some oomph to the guns. I think it would uh, turn out quite well. The modeling and texturing is gorgeous. I did like the enemy design. The animations perhaps could have been a little bit better. The uh, pathing also could use a little work. But uh, other than those things, I, I really enjoy the game and can't wait to see what these students do, taking this hopefully to the next level and making it bigger and better. And oh dear God, there's a lot of monsters behind that door. Oh, oh God, they've made it through the door. They've made it through the door. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. I wonder if the door is just glitched. I, I may, Maybe the model, oh. No, no, it is just closed. I was thinking since they made it through the door, maybe I could too. But no, no, it does seem to be broken. Okay, fair enough. Oh, and you know what? I think that, that uh, the screen dirtiness is what happens because I did just get hit by a lot of things and the screen is much more dirty now. That does seem to be your health. All right. But let's... Yeah, we're just going to end it here. Definitely a fun time. A good game. A lot of potential here. It is a very buggy at the moment. But I, I definitely still would say to follow the link in the description and go download it for yourself and check it out. And uh, yeah, it, it, it definitely... It has a ways to go still. But there is a good game here that could be made into a very, very fun sci-fi shooter. Give me some iron sights, some more oomph to the guns. And, you know, fix some of the bugs like the doors. And I would enjoy myself with this and love to see future versions. Oh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. And I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, that you come back for the next with whatever game I'll be looking at then. But until such time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go back to the menu screen and listen to that song loop for a while. I really like that menu song. It's... It's really good. Later, guys.